looking for answers. Still lots of unanswered questions in Greene County tonight as investigators trying to figure out what led to a double murder suicide. Good evening. Thanks so much for being here. I'm John Gray. And I'm Elisa Streeter. Lydia has the night off. Shock and disbelief in a small Greene County community as police and neighbors try to make sense of what happened. Investigators tell us that a parole officer shot and killed his estranged wife and her boyfriend before eventually taking his own life. What we still don't know is why. News at ABC's Amy Cutler live in uh, Palinville tonight with a closer look at the investigation. Amy, uh, what can you tell us so far? John, state police say the couple has been together for 10 years, married for five. Recently, they'd had problems. They tell us she'd moved out and then this. It was at this home at 844 Pennsylvania Avenue where state police say 46 year old Robert Morozik shot and killed his estranged wife, 49 year old Pammy Morozik and her boyfriend, 51 year old Daniel Brennan. Authorities confirm Morozik was a parole officer. He's a parole officer. He's he's sworn to protect the public, um, and you know, and here he takes matters into his own hands. Sharon June lived next door to the Morosics and says she heard the gunshots ring out around five Sunday evening. We heard pow, 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 and. Um, I said, gee, it's, it's awful close to be target practicing. State police say they were alerted to the incident by neighbors. They tell us Pammy was no longer living at the house, but had come back to pick up a few things. We don't know if he was either waiting for them or returned home, but he did encounter them. State police say Morozik then fled, spotted some eight hours later all the way in Broome County. A chase then ensued. Police say it went on for more than 30 miles. It ended all the way in Cortland County when his car had gone off the road. He was found by troopers with what they tell us was a self-inflicted gunshot wound. State police say the couple had been together for 10 years and that there was no history of domestic abuse. Officials with the State Department of Correction and Community Supervision tell us Morozik had been a parole officer for nearly 10 years and that he was in good standing. Officials calling it a tragic love triangle. State police say it remains an active, ongoing investigation. And still this evening, you can see state police cars parked in the driveway. That's the latest from Palinville. I'm Amy Cutler for News 10 ABC.